Hey guys, how are you guys doing? This is my second TF2 video and I'm using the direct hit Market Gardener and Garboats on Pedal Race High Tower because there's no medic on this match on this on my team because I just don't know why they just want to jump around be a trojan like me. Like yeah, I'm trying my mission here is to deal with all the noob snipers that's gonna appear in this gameplay. Uh, and I quite like the fact that I'm just pretty good at using this weapon. Uh, I like the direct hit because of the 80% projectile speed and this 25% damage bonus. It's much similar to the lock and load where you get damage bonus, um, projectile speed and... But for the lock and load you get two less, um, I don't know, clip, whatever you call it. Because I don't know why, it's the stock rocket launcher and the direct hit, they have the same clip. But for the lock and load and the stock grenade launcher, they the lock and load basically just has like just has like two less clips from the stock rocket launcher. I don't know why they should buff the lock and load because I like to use their weapon. It's similar to the direct hit. If I get enough practice, I could just dominate the whole world. Like why not? So market gardener, I haven't practiced it quite yet. I'm not that good. Um, because I don't know because the timing and for the market gunner is pretty hard. It's pretty harsh because I'm I'm okay. Is this to say that I pretty much suck at it? The direct hit. If you can direct hit someone, you could basically take down a, an overhealed heavy um, at a close range. For the rocket launcher, you can't. Let's just say that you can't. So this guy with unusual hat and machina rest. You have to respect him, like, he's a good sniper, like, later on in the game, you'll see him taking down, like, a whole bunch of other stuff, because, why not? He's good. He has an unusual head. Proves that he's not an F2, F2P, and basically means he's rich as fuck. See, I just want to live, you know. And I'm using an old home now, because mine isn't working that well. But it just does... It screws me up sometimes, but it doesn't screw me up that much. Yeah, I'm still okay playing with this. I just need to get more practice. So, Spy dies immediately to my direct hit. Because I like this weapon. It's not that bad. Um, so, I'm gonna try a new thing called story time. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna tell stories um, of whatever's, gonna, whatever's happening for the past few days. So let's just say that the weather report, I'm not the weather report man, but I'm just gonna say that the weather has been really bad for the past few days. Like, it's been raining really bad. Okay, my friend told me that the rain started like at night, like 1 p 1 a.m. In, in the morning, so, and it's been raining for, I don't know, 13 hours, which is, which sounded really bad. 13 hours of um, constant rain. It sucks, like, but when I think it continued for like two or three days, but in the end, I ha guys have to do what they have to do. Like they have to go out with girls, so I went out to get stuff. Not go out with girls because I'm forever alone and I'm talking to a computer right now. Uh, life sucks, but whatever happens, life still goes on. I still have to do grocery shopping and stuff. Crate rocket, but I didn't hit anybody. Because it would have been good in some situation. It could have been good um, where I have like the the stock rocket launcher instead of the direct hit. But you know what? It's, it's something you have to give up for using the direct hit. Your explosive radius. Um, so when medic have the crits quick, give it to someone who uses the stock rocket launcher instead of the direct hit, because. You know, the explosive radius won't get you anywhere unless the guy is really good at using the direct hit. The maximum you could kill is like 4 guys, but with the explosive radius, you could kill like 3 or 4 using one rocket. I don't know, it's your preference. I like using direct hit because of the speed, like it's fast and then... Okay, when I said there's, no, there's basically no explosive radius, I didn't expect that I could kill like two spies at one go, or maybe they're just using the dead ringer. So story time. So yeah, I'm I'm just trying to think of something 
So my friend's going to camp like today, this today. Um, so I just hope it doesn't rain and it doesn't turn out really bad for him. Because sometimes when it rains, it basically spoils your mood for camping. And yeah, I, I didn't expect to get hit shot by the sniper. I could. One thing I could have thought of was the. The spycraft used his revolver to shoot me, but I don't know why. I think we had we had a truce, like not to kill each other. But the sniper, I don't really know. I saw the spiral going around here. Yeah, mini crits when you hit airborne targets. But I was doing well, but I couldn't hit this guard at all. I'm just not used to the situation I'm doing right now because I'm I'm saying because like a lot and. I'm not doing like real story time. Okay, so I just wish him good luck so that it doesn't rain during his camp. And of course, um, wish him have a fun camp. I'm not going for the camp because I have like um, other stuff to do. Stuff like this and holiday homework. Ah, sucks. I really want to go for the camp. But I, just, I don't know. I don't have the luck to do that. This pyro appears out of nowhere, absolutely nowhere. I didn't know where he came from, cause I was in the t I was on the tower for a couple minutes, but I just didn't see him climbing up. You know, it sucks. But this guy with the this guy with the unusual hat, what's he aiming at? I don't really know, but I guess he hit someone. Yeah, yeah I think he hit someone. He hit one of snipers or something else. So I'm gonna go check on him. Yeah, come on, unusual hat guy, smoking effect. So I think he took care. Yeah, he took care of both snipers um, on the other team. Obvious spy, but most likely use the dead ringer because good spies really do use the dead ringer. The, um, dead ringers are like the best web, the best cloak in this thing in the spy. I I, I don't know in this watch maybe, but cloak and dagger just no. I just don't like um other players who camp on arena mode using. The cloak and dagger. Uh, you can just basically stand there and then the cloak will just regen. I don't really like that. Because it really takes, it really drags a long time until the game ends. Um, Payload Race High Tower, it's a really cool, it's a really fun map. You know, like you have like those narrow choke points uh, for the ramp up to the base. And you have like the, la the final part where you have to lift the cut all the way up. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to do that as a team. You have to have like real team composition and coordination, which my team finally got it. Like after like a couple minutes, so mini crit, uh, and shot him. I'm pretty. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, like red team could have won. Like they got a head start, and then they have a heavy medic combo. It's pretty good, if I don't say so myself. But. Um, the red team spy no why did I kill myself huh the pyro's a spy no oh holy shit the guy betrayed me I thought I thought oh life sucks they, they have like a million spies on their team but I didn't really know that the guy was a spy or not they had like a million and then they were all disguised as something else you know I don't really like spies that much but I do play spy if you want spy commentary you can just say it I'll, I'll do it I'll try to play spy for an hour just trying to get a good just trying to get a good game, gameplay so the spiral no way I want the health I want the sniper too you die pew 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 oh, oh. he died so fast so my mouse screws me up but at a very important moment where see here pew you die you die so fast you know to have the damage bonus is pretty fun, like in order to kill someone like directly. So I tried this guy tries to market gun on me but you know deny of course by me. You know he tries again. No biggie. Huh? Direct hit him. This guy respects that hit, you know. I hit him, bounced him away, he couldn't do anything. But in the end I still killed him. With one health left. I'm pretty proud of that. So that was the soldier who just went by. Um he left the health untouched. I was like really touched by that act because he was really my lifesaver. You know, 
he left the health there for me so I could escape with 101 health but then I just wasted it trying to pogo to spawn okay I'm not that good at pogoing I'm not you know when you, you can't pogo using the direct hit like because there's the 80% 80, 80 projectile speed bonus the chance to direct hit him but it doesn't work but he's next on my target list pew damage off him he tries to market get on me no way no way Jose it's like in close, it's like really close quarters. How could you market gun on someone unless you're just that good of a player? So this guy's a bit, this guy, this snipers, he's clever. He tries to hit me the mini weapon, but it's not the way. I mean, holding on to left click is not the way to win a melee battle. You know? It's not the way. You have to time it correctly before you hit someone. Ah. Uh, just really noob snipers around this area. I didn't quite like the fact. The guy spy checked me, but he didn't realize that someone's trying to market gun in him. I should have ran away, but it wasn't a crit, but at least it was enough to kill me at that time of the game. And you know, this sniper sucks. Two hit two attempts at trying to headshot this guy. This guy was doing a taunt. Come on, sniper. You could have hit you could have killed him like ages ago. The guy was doing a taunt. So noob snipers in this match definitely um, they are just wasting their slots. They could play like some other classes and they could have killed me more often that I could have died. Uh, because I'm using a noob mouse, I'm having I'm I'm in like a disadvantage and great teams obvious I'm blue teams obviously in a disadvantage um, uh, at pushing the card. I'm still trying trying hard to push up brand. Yeah, so finally they pushed it up because there was just snipers and spies everywhere. One soldier, another soldier didn't need the direct hit, but he couldn't hit me. So I'm just trying to scare the shit off this sniper because he should just change classes, you know. This spy, it's a really clever spy, like he used the dead ringer instead of like some other envious watch. So I rocket jumped here without looking at my health. I was like, no, I'm just gonna escape. I'm just gonna die to this random weird stuff. So I wasn't noticing my health at that time, so. I couldn't blame anyone else. It's my fault. So blue teams trying to push that, push it up because we have like the best team composition in the world. We have two two medics, but the other team they just have like demo man, trojans, and um, basically spies and snipers. Not the best of team compositions, if I don't say so myself. And this pyro is really clever to push me off, but it's not. It's not gonna be enough to like prevent blue team from attacking because we are the best. We are the best. So I didn't really care about pushing the car. I didn't want to die because when you finish pushing the car at a at pillow race high tower, you basically explode. So I didn't really care. So I died. I don't know why. Blue team wins like in a couple seconds because we have two medics. Why not? We could win this. So they explode. They die. Uh, second on the scoreboard and. Um, yeah, so that's it. I've been playing for an hour now. I need to do my homework. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, do subscribe and comment. See you guys next time. Boom.